at that. Mmm. Good mm -hmm. live a long life. It's recording, right? Okay, good. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I am here with my friend Liz. Hello. It's Liz Mew on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And you have a YouTube channel too. I do. It's Loud Noodle, but I just eat Asian food. Asian vegan food. So. Sounds pretty good to me. But either way, I'll have all of our stuff linked down below. But today I'm really excited because we are teaming up and Liz is going to teach me how to make a recipe today. So what are we going to be making? We are making sesame sauce noodles or mahjong mian. We have all the ingredients out. You can't see some of them right now, but it all smells really, really good. And we're also making the noodles from scratch too, mm -hmm. right? We've got flour. We're going to mix it by hand. It's going to be fun. I am very excited and the full recipe will be linked in the description of the video, but for now we're going to get into it. So let's start with our noodles. So for our noodles, we're, it's pretty simple, right? We just need flour, oil, salt, water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the flour, chuck it into the bowl. And it's about two cups of flour? Yep, it's two cups or 300 grams. We do have a scale. In this case, is it better to weigh it? It's I think more it is accurate. better. It's much better if you weigh ingredients all the time. Also, I got my scale on Amazon and it was like, Ten dollars, so it's not that expensive. Invest. invest. I'm just lazy sometimes. <laughs> um, we're just gonna add the salt and then mix the salt around with chopsticks. I always blend with chopsticks because it's easier. Also, you'll see when we add the water, um, it doesn't get as sticky. So. Oh, interesting. Because if you use your hands, it sticks to your hands. Mm. If you use chopsticks, you can mix until it's safe to touch. So now I'm going to add the oil. Is it a tablespoon? It is a it's okay. tablespoon. I'm just gonna quickly mix that as well. And then we're gonna add the water. I think I add like half at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everything's starting to come together. So you can see it's kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing with this with your hands, a lot of the, the dough would end up on your hands. That's true. I've definitely filmed recipe videos. I'm like, well, my hands are <laughs> covered now. So now it's kind of safe to touch. Also, it's really easy to get out of this. Okay, so you can see now it's like easier to touch. Okay, so now I kind of go in with my hands just to just to finally get it all together. Now this dough is not very smooth by the time um, by the time you foam formed your dough. Smooth. So there's like chunks in it, or so you don't have to knead it very hard because we're gonna oh, rest okay. it and probably knead it again. Okay. Like so you'll right see now, that it's lumpy because people get stressed out when they're making a dough ball that like it's not a perfectly smooth dough ball, but it doesn't matter. Ah, so now you're just kind of trying to get all the flour incorporated into it? Yeah. So, okay. Cool. I was neat on my tiptoes. <laughs> it's good, you get more force. <laughs> exactly. Learn that in physics, you get more downward force. I would need, but I actually chopped my fingernail uh, yesterday, <laughs> like right across my fingernail, so I can't put any pressure on my hand. But you look like you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. So just lightly dust the surface. Tip it out, pour any extra flour out onto the dough ball. And just work it all in. So it's basically all together now. Like it's a it's a lumpy looking thing. It'll be smoother, I promise. So all we need to do now is let it let it sit. Chuck it in a bowl. It's not gonna rise or anything, it's just gonna relax a little bit because right now if you try to roll it out it would be very tough we just cover it up and chill how long do we let it sit for 30 minutes 30 minutes all right we'll see you guys in, in 30, 30 minutes, minutes. <laughs> are we going Welcome back to the uh-huh it's been 30 minutes it's been 30 minutes <laughs> time to pull some noodles it's been 30 minutes we have our dough do you, you want to touch it it's like i do want to touch squishy it now before it was Whoa. like Oh, it is different. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like when you touch it, it like springs back. Mm hmm. So we have our noodle ball. And then you need some flour. And you need a knife. And we also need a rolling pin. I'll go get it. <laughs> We're just going to need this a little bit because it was a little bit lumpy before. Let's work with half. Half the lump. Okay. Chop it in half. I'll let you go first because you're the master. <laughs> and I'm not sure how much I need to roll it out. Okay. But... So I just kind of flatten it a little bit before I start rolling. Um, if you can try and form it into a square shape before we start. It just needs to be like a sheet and the noodles are more even, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's here go. Okay, so we want it about that thickness. Yes. Press it down. Press it down. Make it a square. Make it a square or a rectangle. Oh no, it's already circular. It's fine. <laughs> just like pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. Oh, yeah. like that. And just go one direction. Oh. See, I didn't know how to use a rolling pin. It's also like a lighting. 
So now we want to flower everything. So flower the surface. Flower our bodies. Exactly. <laughs> and then we kind of want to fold it. We're going to fold it into like thirds, I want to say. Thirds? Yeah, thirds. Okay. And just like a soft fold. So now we're going to cut noodles. Okay. How thick do we want our noodles to be? Like three quarters of a centimeter. Okay, three quarters of a centimeter. So I want them like that. Mm hmm. I got my nudes. Okay, and now we're just gonna, gonna fold them. Well, these are fat because we're gonna pull them. Mm, okay. They should be good. So if you weren't pulling them, if people didn't want to pull you, them? You would roll it a lot thinner. Okay. And then you would cut them a lot thinner as well to like... Your personal yourself. likeness. Yeah. Basically. Flour them so they don't stick together because we're gonna rest these again so that they mm, form okay. some elasticity in this shape of noodle. And then we're just gonna sit them in. Yours look prettier than mine. I don't know. Yours look pretty. You've rolled yours up nice. Oh. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, so another 15 minutes? Yep. All right, and then in the meantime, should we make our sauce? We should. All right. Should we clean the counter, I guess? I guess. Well, we're putting it in a bowl. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Can you just put that off to the side and we'll make the sauce? Now it's time for our <laughs> sesame sauce. It is time for our sesame sauce. Okay, so does okay, it matter the make it? order I put things in this? Um, you, we want to add the water last. The last. Okay, so I would start with the paste. So chuck the paste in. So tahini and peanut butter. I feel like I really like the, the balance between peanut but peanuts and sesame. Mm -hmm. I don't actually think I've ever combined them in anything before. Ooh. So I'm excited. And next we're going to put the soy sauce in. Wow. <laughs> That was pretty good. So it's yeah, like between it's two and three. Yeah, between two and three table, um, tablespoons. Okay. Should I? Um, should I? This is three. How, depending on how salty you like it. We like it salty. Should I just yeah. add three, or should I wait? Just wait. <laughs> mix it. Mix it. Mix it. And mix it. Should I use the fork? Eh, I grow it. Whatever. Right now. My tahini is more liquidy than ours. I'm gonna add the rice vinegar. Okay. Add two teaspoons and then some sugar. Gotta have the sugar to balance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna add the water. Oh. Working my forearm muscles. So it's looking pretty creamy. I'm gonna add the rest of the water. Okay. Because why not? Do you like Liz McGuire? I do love Liz McGuire. Why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not? Why not? Do crazy it. dance. Oh! <laughs> All right. Okay. And then sesame oil? And sesame oil. Yes. Last but certainly not least. Wow. Boom. Oh, my sauce is usually a lot thicker than yours because of the tahini. Really? Should we add extra tahini? We got more peanut butter. Peanut butter? Peanut butter. How much? Just the big old dollop. Like that? Yeah. I feel like this is one of those sauces where you can kind of customize it according to your own taste too. Now we have to wait for our noodles to finish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll be back and we'll be cooking some nudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 15 minutes and we did end up actually cutting some of the noodles just a little bit more thin because we like skinny noodles over here. But if you want them thick, you could do that. If you want mm -hmm, them thinner, you mm -hmm. can cut them thinner. Whatever you like, There's, there are no rules. Um, so just take your noodles out, grab any old noodle. One that's kind of even so I can show you what it's supposed to look like. Um, if you just kind of flick it back and forth lightly, tap it, mm. it'll lengthen. It's really wow. nice. And then you can kind of skip and rope it. But if you be gentle because they okay. will break. I'm gonna pick this one. So it's like this? Yep. Yeah. And just pull it, you'll feel it stretch. I do feel it stretch. See how it's like breaking there? You can like Go along evenly. Oh, uh, so I can go to like the thicker part too. Yeah, and, like, if you want to. It depends how you cut it. So cut nicely, and then we want to flour them. We can just toss them all in this bowl. Okay. Or so the flour. flour and... Yeah, so they don't stick together when we cook them. So then we just keep. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. It's nice when they get a bit of length. Yeah, it would be hard to cut them this thin. I think. There's no such thing as too long. The longer the noodles, the longer your life. Oh. Apparently, on your birthday, you have, you're have you supposed to eat noodles if you're Asian. 
Really? It's like a thing. Long noodles? Yeah. Long noodles. Any type of noodles so that you have a long life. Look at oh. this one's a long noodle. That is a, good, that is a nice one. I'm gonna have a long life. <laughs> so we're just making sure our noodles are well coated in flour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have a pot of water boiling back there, unsalted. Unsalted. And you just wanna boil it for a couple of minutes. Probably like max four minutes. How do you know when the noodles are done? Uh, you eat one. Okay, <laughs> that's the best way. Cool. <laughs> so now we're gonna boil them and then... And you wanna serve them ASAP. ASAP, so hot noodles, pour the sauce on, and then garnish, but we'll show you how to do that. Cool. So once your noodles are done, we're just pouring them into our bowl. So you just wanna put some sesame sauce on there. A lot of sesame sauce is always a good idea. Okay. A big helping of cucumber. Lots of cucumber. Chili oil. Mmm. Smells really good. It does. And then I always put some coriander or cilantro. Cilantro. Some spring onions. What do you call these? Green onions. Green onions. onions. Um, and peanuts and sesame. Toasted sesame seeds, Toasted right? Sesame seeds. Can I sprinkle the sesame seeds? Oh yeah. Seeds? Hands are a bit sticky. Like this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then you mix it all up. And enjoy. And cool. So we're gonna make our second batch and then we'll see you guys again with some bowls and noodles. Mm -hmm. We mixed our noodles. We had to get some cool epic shots, but I'll insert a clip here of the final noodle shot in the noodle pool. Mm -hmm. This smells so good. Thank you. Mmm. So you just mix everything until it's super creamy. Because it's nice and creamy. You're so good at that. I had a lot of practice. I gotta. And then you eat it. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. I have sauce all over my face. This but is delicious. Okay. Thank you. It's like just the right amount of spice and the creaminess from the peanut butter. Mmm. This used to be like peasant food. They're actually called like peddler's noodles. Oh really? Like the original dish, oh, I suppose it's a form of the really original dish. It's called like dandan noodles and a dandan is like one of those poles that people used to carry on their shoulder. Mm. And they would sell noodles oh. on the street. So I guess a better translation would be like peddler's noodles. Interesting. I'm kind of talking in an American accent. I've noticed that. Actually, I don't think we really explained. Did I say you were here? Why you were here? Oh no. Why am I here? I don't even know. That's the great question of life. <laughs> Why are we here? Um, Liz is just traveling from Australia. She wanted to visit Portland mm -hmm. and Vancouver. And I was like, hey, come stay with us. And while she was here, I wanted to film a video with her because I think she makes awesome recipes. And you guys always ask me for more like international recipes and I have no experience. So I figured we get the noodle master get herself help. <laughs> to help me out. Oh, actually, could you explain the concept of peasant food we were talking about in the car the other day? But mm -hmm. I never heard it before, so I feel like some people might not know. Okay, I'm just gonna swallow and watch flour off my That tail. sounds good. So I guess, like, peasant food is just like, when my dad was growing up in China, there wasn't that much food. There was like a couple of months where he could literally only eat carrots, so every time my dad sees a carrot now, he's like ready to cry. Oh my like, god. Like, I'm triggered. Um, but yeah, I think it's just turning a small amount of food and ingredients into something you can share amongst a lot of people and something that's really delicious. So mm -hmm. this is one of those dishes. So that's why I think all these recipes, are, a lot of Asian recipes are really amazing because they use very few ingredients. Yeah. And the flavors you get from like very few ingredients. Like this is very simple. Yeah, it's really simple and it's like easy to use. I feel like most of the people already have the ingredients in their pantry themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's cool, it's like all the ingredients are pretty inexpensive too. Mm -hmm. And the noodles are literally flour, oil, and salt, which are yep. like super cheap, Staples. good budget friendly food, but it tastes like, I feel like I'm at a restaurant right now. Like this is so well, this delicious. This is what you would get if you went to an Asian restaurant. You could order this. Oh. In I'm gonna have to find some after you leave. Well, yeah. actually I'll just use the, my blog post and make it myself. Yeah, I think it's better if you make it at home. Mm. Well, I think that's it, I guess. So thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check out Liz's YouTube channel and her Instagram and all those good things and the blog recipe. And thanks for making noodles with me. Because thanks for having me. I'm, I've had so much fun and thank you for letting me stay with you. Of crash. course. We have a little sausage. Oh, nice. I'm sure I have some all over my face. But. <laughs> all right. Should we give a noodle pool and then say bye? Okay. Oh no. Wow, it's so good. You just like grab a whole bunch. 
Oh, good enough. Bye! Bye!